Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another product unboxing and first impressions video. Um, I know that this product is not gonna be for everyone out there, but if you are a mom of a lot of kids like me, or if you often cook like large batch cooking, have parties or things like that, this might be a really cool product for you and I'm really excited to try it out. The company is Vivor and this is a commercial large electric skillet or flat top grill, stainless steel. Let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. First off, here are the accessories. Okay, this is not this is not a light product. This is very heavy duty. Let's get it unwrapped. All right, so let's get the paper off. It's got grease on here. It comes pre-greased. So you can see this is where like the grease will go down as you're cooking things and it has this little removable tray to uh, empty that out, which is great. I like the simple controls. It's just, uh, you know, simple temperature. And it looks like it has the Fahrenheit and the Celsius on here, which is actually very, very helpful. I love that. It comes with two spatula scrapers and then also two grill brushes. And this is the user manual, not too overwhelming. I'm gonna um, read this real fast and then we'll get this plugged in and I'm thinking I'm gonna make some smash burgers. I love smash burgers, but I've always had to make like one at a time in my skillet on the stove. And um, this is gonna be amazing because I can probably make like six or eight at a time here. And when you have five kids and a hungry husband, being able to cook them all at the same time is definitely a bonus. So as per the instructions, I wiped down all of the grease, got rid of that. I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up. And uh, apparently the first time you use it, um, it can emit some smoke. So you just wanna let that burn off real quick before you start cooking. And let's see, I'm gonna put it on about 300 degrees and just let it heat up. And I believe this will turn off, if I remember correctly, when it is heated up to the correct temperature. I think it's almost up to temperature and you can see it's starting to smoke a little bit. I got my oven fan on, just getting all of that cooked off and then we will get going on the smash burgers. There, the indicator light went off, so that means it's up to temperature at that 300. And for the smash burgers, I'm gonna turn the temp actually up to about 400, let it heat up and we'll get those cooking. For seasoning, I have some Redmond smoked salt and some black pepper. I also have some Tillamook cheddar cheese and some sliced up onions. I thought I would try to saute some onions on the electric skillet as well. I have a little avocado oil here in my bottle. I'm just gonna oil this up a little bit. And let me get my onions started first, I guess. Try some sauteed onion burgers. Just gonna throw a burger on each one of these. Yeah. I like that they give you two of these because you can use one for touching the raw, and then you can have another one for touching the uh, cooked meat, which is great. The crust on these looks absolutely incredible. I 
am so excited about this, you guys. Oh my goodness. Those look so good. I'm going to go ahead and do cheese on those as well. Alright, my burgers are done. They look so amazing. So as far as cleaning for this griddle, or flat top, whatever you want to call it, um, apparently it's best to do while it's hot. You don't want to just let it sit. Uh, I'm going to turn it back down to about 300 degrees and just scrape and apparently you don't want to use any kind of um, soap or cleaners except for like a food grade degreaser, but you don't have to do that every, every time apparently. You're just going to want to use water and oil and just scrape, scrape everything off. So I'm going to see if I can get this pretty clean here. Just turning it off. The last thing to do is to clean out the grease trap, which I'll show you real quick, but I will wait until that's all the way cooled off. And all in all, it was not difficult to clean. I definitely do see the value in cleaning it when it's hot, not letting it sit until it's cold. Um, but I'm very happy with that. I am going to um, oil it a little bit just to keep it seasoned. So I will just kind of rub that around and then it will be done as soon as it's cooled off. I can put it away. So there you go. I am super excited about adding this electric flat top to my kitchen. I think it's going to be really, really useful for me for cooking for my big family, as well as for like gatherings and things like that. And then also for just food prep. I do a lot of food prep for the week. So I'm sure you'll be seeing this skillet in my like food prep videos that I share. I will have the link down below and all of the details on how you can get your hands on one of these. I do have a discount code so you can check that out and see if it's something that might work for your life and your family. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one.